Okay. Uh, I don't know how much you know about the extradition procedure. Do uh, you know anything about extradition? Well, you're going to learn. Um, this morning, you have a decision to make. You can either waive extradition, and the uh, state of Colorado has uh, 20 days to come get you, which, to be quite honest about it, under the facts of this particular situation, I have a feeling it'd be much shorter than that. But um, <clears throat> anyway, you have 20, they'll have 20 days to come get you, or you can fight extradition. Fighting extradition means that, and this is a guesstimate on my part, that it would be about maybe 90 days from now, the Attorney General from the state of South Carolina would hold a uh, extradition hearing where he has to prove two things. That you are this uh, staunch, Stouch. So, Ms. Stouch, and that you are wanted for a felony in the state of Colorado. It's not a very high bar for the jump over, but that is the standard in an in a, uh, expedition hearing. Um, so, my question to you is, do you want to waive extradition, or do you want to uh, fight extradition? Um, so, when you said something about fighting it, I have to do what now? Well, you don't have to do anything. You just uh, have to sit sit until the uh, um, hearing comes up. But uh, um, otherwise, the state of South, uh, state of Colorado has, if you waive that condition, they have 20 days to come get you. I would be surprised if they weren't already in the air, but that's just me. I have no factual basis for that, but I, I just... I, uh, they were here yesterday. That's who actually came. Oh, okay. So yeah, what do you want to do, young lady? you want to uh, waive extradition or you want to fight? So if there's a hearing here, what does that mean? They decide and determine what it is. If the hearing is here, what does that decide? It just decides when, whether you go back to Colorado or not. Well, I've still never been given the opportunity, like, since the beginning, to even call my attorneys and even talk to him about any of these things. Well, where's your attorney? I need to call my friend Laura, who has an attorney, but I was told yesterday that someone was going to do that, but they never did. Okay. But last since yesterday that I called an attorney. Well, I, it doesn't matter either way to me, because I'm just asking a question. Uh, I don't care what the answers are. If, if you waive extradition, I will sign the extradition order, and they'll bring it back there for you to consent to. If you fight extradition, then they'll just have an extradition hearing sometime in the future, and uh, uh, the problem with, with fighting extradition is that <clears throat> the time you spend sitting, waiting for the extradition hearing is uh, always considered to be your time, not Colorado or whatever the requesting state's time is, so you don't get any credit, it's like, I won't say wasting your time, but, and, and there are very few this is a legal advice, but I'll tell you, there's very few defenses to extradition. Um, but it's your choice. Uh, so you're saying it's not like a guarantee, it's just a hearing? It's just a hearing where they have to prove you are who you are and that you're wanted for a felony. Those are the two things they have to prove in an extradition hearing. That's all. It, so, I mean, if you, if you are who you are and you're wanted for a felony in, in, in Colorado, it won't do much good fighting in extradition. Oh, you're saying they have to do that. I see. I understand. I see. Yes. So you don't know. Okay, what you want to do, young lady? Um, so Colorado. Okay, well, I'll sign the extradition order, and uh, they'll bring it back for you to consent to. Now, of course, it wouldn't have mattered if you waived or not waived. When somebody's an extra, if somebody is a fugitive from one state, I don't let them be a fugitive from two states, so uh, uh, you, you, it's not like if you answer either way, it would make any difference as far as, as the hearing today goes, because I'm not going to set bond. Of course, I, with the charges that are involved, I couldn't set bond anyway. Okay. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't write for you guys, so I don't have any trouble with us. I didn't even know anything yesterday, so the dates on that paper tag is wrong. Well, let, let me... Um, 
Let me tell you something else, and I didn't go into all this. I didn't go into all this, uh, uh, but uh, once now that we've decided the uh, what we're going to do in this particular hearing, I, because of the charges you charged with, as far as today's concerned, I don't believe I'd say too much. Okay. All right. They'll bring the order back to you to uh, sign the motion. Uh, consent. To you, okay. Okay. All right. This is so fucking dumb. I won't get out of that alone. I won't do that out of that alone. I wish the judge would let me keep talking. I can keep talking to him. It's so fucking easy, guys. It's another gun. 